presence of Never having their sins washed away. They think that their sins are remitted, but their sins still remain. Because until you have the blood of Jesus Christ applied, which only comes through the name of the Lord Jesus, they're yet in their sin. Amen. When we tell people that you don't have to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, that you can simply say a sinner's prayer, and now you're saved. When they can never have the egg, the, the We can't be silent. Right, right. Over the fact that you need, it's not optional. You need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a necessity. You can't make it without the Holy Ghost. You can't see the kingdom of God unless you're born again of the water and of the Spirit. And if you can't see it, if you can't see it without it, then you know you can't enter it. Wow. Amen. Folk got folk going to heaven with no Holy Spirit. Yeah. No Holy Ghost. No water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And I know we've been preaching it for years, and I know sometimes it could be so it was so redundant and continues to be in preach to us who were in the pew so much that we got tired of the Acts 238 message. But I tell you something tonight, you can't get that tired of Acts 238. Eternal 
Social Security is a false gospel. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, it is. Promoted by a false Jesus that they've been teaching. Because the Jesus of the Bible said, unless you repent and get it together, I'll blot your name out of the book. There's no eternal security with God. The only, the only eternal security that you have is if you stay in his will. Abide in me and my word and abide in you. And the Bible said, he that is born of God cannot sin because the seed remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he's born of God. When you got the word of God in you, even when you want to do wrong, the word will remind you. Amen. You got to get it right. And even if you do wrong, the word will remind you that you got to repent. Oh, he will never hurt 
you. He'll never do anything to you. Who told you that? When, when Isaiah speaking on behalf of God, God said, I kill and I make a lie. I heal and I wound. Hallelujah. I, the Lord, do all these things. And what which who, who gonna deliver you out of my hand? Hallelujah. You talking about God don't kill and God won't do that. What Bible you read it? That's right. I read the Bible in the New Testament. Well, that was the God of the old, but let's get the God of the new. Ananias and Sapphira lied to the Holy Ghost and God said, King Herod sat on the throne and would not give glory to God, took the glory for himself, and the angel of the Lord swallowed up. Amen. 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 Oh, we can sit here and say that's only Old Testament. It's written in the New Testament. The same God. That's right. God said, I'm God and I change not. That's right. God still is the same God that will do the same thing he did in the old and the new. If you give him opportunity to do it or give him reason to do it. The Lord still will smite somebody today. Take the snatch the breath right out of their body. You, you, you buck up against God. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Amen. That living God, when he get angry, it's even worse to fall into his hands. And we're going to sit here and just all talk about this, this cream oh, puff Jesus. Right, right. Uh, My Lord. Popcorn Jesus. Right. Cotton candy Jesus. Uh, Ain't that something? Uh, My Lord. Don't want to tell the side of Jesus that if you get on his bad side, mm -hmm. and you yeah. keep just like any old, he's like any parent. Yeah. You keep disobeying yeah. your parent if you want to. Come on now. Right. I act like God ain't a good father. Yes. Uh, He's on. a real good father. Right. As long as you're doing what you need to do, That's he'll right. praise you, he'll give you what you want, but you can't keep disobeying him. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And I turn God into a doormat. You can run over top of him. I'm turning God into a, a, a play toy. You can do whatever you want with him. He ain't gonna say nothing to you. Live how you want to live, disobey his commandment, and he's still going to be there. Yes, I love you. Mm -hmm. you. You keep on disobeying. Right, right. right. You keep on messing with him. He'll oh, suffer right. with you for a little while. That's right. And after a while, he will say, I'm done. That's right. I'm moving his hand. I'm tired. That's, right. That's what the Apostle Paul warns us not to frustrate the grace of God. Right. Amen. Amen. You can frustrate the grace of God. These folks have turned the grace of God into the city, isn't it? But the grace of God that has appeared unto all men has taught us yeah. to deny all ungodliness and worldly loss. The, the grace of God that appeared has told us that we can live righteous yeah. and sober in this present world. You don't have to die to live holy. Yeah. He said we can live righteously and godly in this present world. Yeah. 
do badly righteous. As long as you walk in the spirit. The only way. Hallelujah. The only way. That's the reason why they can't live holy because they ain't got the spirit. Amen. They got another spirit. Amen. Church. What we go 
concert next week anyway. And that money should have been given and offered. They're going to be giving it to the ticket. So why y'all want us to come over there? Right, right. You're going to be at my concert and have my album released next week. Wow. That's all they have. It's a counterfeit. Nothing to compare. Let's read this and let's go home. And denying the only Lord God. These, these heathens turn the grace of God into the citizens and they deny the only Lord God. And our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance. He said, I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though you once knew this. Though you once knew this. How that the Lord. How that the Lord. Having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Afterward. Afterward. Destroyed them that believed not. He destroyed them that did not believe. Right. And the angel. He said, I'm going to put you in remembrance of this. Uh -huh. Because some of you have not conceded yeah. and some of you have forgotten that yeah. the same God that saved them from Egypt is the same God that destroyed them because of their lack of faith. Yeah. And the same God that did it to them will do it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 You can't get excited that God brought you out of Egypt, but that after you get out of Egypt, you think you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You think that God won't yeah. take you out of here. How shall we escape if we neglect so free? Salvation. Right. He said, them, them jokers came out of Egypt. But after I delivered them out of Egypt, they didn't die by the hand of Pharaoh. They had to die by my hand because of their unbelief. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I had to destroy them. Listen to this. And the angel. And the angel. Which kept not their first estate. Which kept not their first estate. But left their own habitation. Left their own habitation. He hath reserved an everlasting change. He has reserved them into everlasting change. Under darkness. Under darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. Unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom. God, God let you know I ain't playing with none of that. Right. I ain't playing with nobody. Right. Yeah. I destroyed them children that I brought out of Egypt. Uh -huh. And even the angels that I created for my glory and my purpose, when they left the habitation, I got them. I got them locked away in darkness, Sir. waiting for the day that I come to destroy them. Amen. Amen. I said, I'll destroy man, beast, and angels. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They left their first estate because of rebellion. Uh -huh. Wanting to buck up and, and rebuttal the command of God. God Amen. said, you got to get out of here. Right. And when they got out of there, he said, you'll never have this place ever again. Now look at them. Now they're in the abyss and out of darkness in the dark realm above the earth, hovering over stop for all eternity until God come. And when God come, he's going to pull them out of, out of darkness right. and he's going to set them into this burning, flaming fire of the world and destroy them right. with right. all the wickedness and all the ungodliness that there is. And he's going to put an end to them once and for all. Amen. Amen. I said, I, I ain't the spirit of the angels that said it. God going to destroy them jokers. Amen. Yes. Verse number seven. Even as Sodom. Even Sodom. And Gomorrah. And Gomorrah. And the cities about them. And the cities about them. In like manner. In like manner. Giving themselves over to fornication. Giving themselves over to fornication. And going after strange flesh. And going after strange flesh. Are set for an example. Are set as an example. Suffering the vengeance of suffering eternal fire. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, they are an example. Example for what? Now, if 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 Sodom and Gomorrah are an example Come on. of how God is going to destroy the world, Come on. Then, then, then it's going to tell us some things. God will burn them jokers up. That's right. Turn over. Amen. I tell you, nothing left of them. Sodom and Gomorrah to this day is still a desolate place. Amen. God burned them cities up. He burned them up to the point where they are now inhabitable. Amen. Amen. God sent fire and brimstone down from heaven when Lot and his family got out of the city. He let fire and brimstone fall down from heaven, burned Sodom and Gomorrah in the cities round right about him so bad to the point where now can't nothing even grow there. Nothing lived there. Amen. 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 Perpetual death. Grass won't even spring up. God burned it up so bad that nothing can live there any longer. Right, right. That's what God will do to this world. He's going to burn this world up yeah. until it's inhabitable. Right. Uninhabitable, rather. Right. Can't yeah. nothing live in it. That's right. He's going to totally right. annihilate it, destroy it. It was set for our example yeah. of what we 
will suffer if we're on the outside of God. Listen. Likewise. Likewise. Also these filthy dreamers. Also these filthy dreamers. Defile the flesh. Defile the flesh. Despise dominion. Despise dominion. And speak evil of dignity. And speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael. Yet Michael. The archangel. The archangel. When contending with the devil. When contending with he disputed about the body of Moses. He disputed over the body of Moses. Does not bring against him a railing accusation. He does, no. he does not bring against him a railing accusation. But said, but said the Lord rebuke the Lord rebuke him. But these speak evil of those things. But these speak evil of those things. Which they know not. Which they know not. But what they know naturally. But what they know naturally. As brute beasts. As brute beasts. In those things they corrupt themselves. In those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them. Woe unto them. For they have gone in the way of Cain. They have gone in the way of Cain. And have ran greedily. And ran greedily. After the heir of Balaam. After the heir of Balaam. For reward. For gain. And perish in the gainsaying. And perish in the gainsaying. Of Korah. Of Korah. These are spots in your feet. These are spots in your feet. Of charity. When they feast with you. When they feast with you. Feeding themselves without fear. Feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without Clouds water. Clouds they are without water. Carried about of wind. Carried about of wind. Trees whose fruit wither it. Trees whose fruit wither. Without fruit. Without fruit. Who separate themselves. Sensual. 
sensual, having not the spirit, having not the spirit, but ye, but ye, beloved, beloved, building up yourselves, building up yourselves on your most holy, faith, on your most holy thing, praying in the holy, praying Ghost. in the Holy Ghost, keep yourself, keep yourself in the love of God, in the love of God, looking for the mercy, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, unto eternal life, unto eternal life, and of some, and of some. Some have compassion. Making a difference. Making a difference. And others. And others. Save with fear. Save with fear. Pulling them out of the fire. Pulling them out of the fire. Hating even the garment. Hating even the garment. Spotted by the flesh. Spotted by the flesh. Now unto him. Now unto him. That is able to keep you from that falling. That is able to keep you from falling. And to present you and faultless. And to present you faultless. Before the presence of his before glory. Before the presence of his glory. With exceeding joy. To the only wise to God. The only wise our Savior, our Savior, be glory, be glory and, majesty, and majesty, dominion, dominion and, power, and power, both now, both now and, ever. and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Father, tonight we know that there are two identifiers of the counterfeit, the mark and the light. So, Father, we ask you, Lord God, that we never will be deceived by the counterfeit that is in the land. Those unclean spirits that are going to and fro throughout the earth, throughout the kingdoms of this world, working miracles to deceive the masses of the people, to prepare them for the great battle of our great God, that battle of Armageddon. Father, we know the dilemma that we're up against. We know what we're facing. We see the spiritual climate of the earth. Father, we see spiritually what we're up against, and we know that we are living in the last of the last days. Father, we know that your coming is imminent. We know that you're soon to return. But Lord, you told us in your word for us to occupy until you come. And so, Father, you told us that we had to work while it is called day. When night comes, no man can work. Father, we pray that tonight as we leave this place and you leave us with a burning zeal and passion and a greater desire to win just one to your kingdom. Father, let us go into the hands of the highways. Let us go into our places of residence and our places of work. Oh God, let us go down the street, down in the corner stores, up and down the block, wherever we might go, on the train, on the bus, in the Uber, wherever we might be. Oh God, let us spread the gospel. Let us tell somebody of the glorious good news of your death, your burial, and your resurrection. Oh God, let us tell them the reason why you were sent into the earth to redeem all humanity. Father, we ask you that you would give us the boldness to proclaim your word. Oh God, some of us are a little shy and a little timid. We ask you, Lord God, give us holy boldness. Oh God, let the Holy Ghost rise up in us. Oh God, give us the holy boldness that we might be able to stand up and testify of your goodness. And allow them to know what you've done for us. How you brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. How you saved our soul. And if you were able to save us, you are able to save them. So Father, we pray today that you allow us to stand on our post forever. Allow us, oh God, to be the ones that you're calling in these last and evil days, the ones that you're coming back for and your return. Lord, we ask you, work through us, work in us, oh God, that we might be, oh God, those that will spread your gospel, those that will take this gospel into all of the world, oh God, that somebody might be saved. Father, we don't want to be bitch warmers and we don't want to be the one who took the talent and buried it. Oh God, we want to be the one, Lord God, that put to use what you give it unto us. Oh God, we don't want to be the ones, oh God, that take this light and hide it under the bushel. But God, we want to be the ones that take that candle and put it on the candlestick in order that it might light up the room and might light up somebody else's life. Oh God, we pray today that you will always remind us of our purpose that you purpose in us from the foundation of the world and the reason why we are in your church today. For Lord God, you didn't call us into your church just simply to save us, but you called us into your church to save us and to save those that will hear us. And so Father, we want to make sure that we're always being about your business. We want to be about our Father's business. We want to be doing those things that always please our Father. And so Father, we ask you, Lord God, that you continue to work in us. Ever lead, never guide us, ever never down our path. And we will follow you only, follow you always. And Lord, we ask you that you will continue to say, Lord God, let this house, let this place be a light house to the world. Oh God, shine the light of that great glory. Oh God, and that great power right out of this place. Draw men and women in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Bring them into this place. Oh God, they might hear the word of truth and be saved. Oh, Lord, we are praying. Oh, we are praying even for our ministers and elders that are scattered abroad. Oh, God, a lot of fire upon their soul. Oh, God, they might even be able to evangelize and witness in the areas that they are in. Oh, God, bringing men and women in, even in those areas. Father, we ask you to do a work in this day. Save somebody's soul. Because we know, Lord God, that time is drawing near. And we want to be able, Lord God, to stand before you. We want to be able to present to you all of those that we have given your truth and your gospel to. Oh God, we don't want to stand before you empty handed. But Father, you told us you want us to bear much fruit. Oh God, the fruit that you desire for us to bear is not just a changed life within ourselves, but you want more people to come unto the 
the saving knowledge of you. Yes. And so, Lord God, we want to be able to present to you a basket full of fruit of people that we've witnessed to, that we've told of your great gospel. And so, Lord, we don't want to come before you empty handed and not presenting you anything. But, God, we want to present you our life. We want to present you other souls that you might be able to save and bring into your divine kingdom and your return. Lord, we love you. place. Oh God, go with us and go before us. Protect us. Keep us. Keep back the hand of the enemy. Oh God, on every side. Those that are traveling over the dangerous highways, Father, we pray that you let no mechanical failure take place. But God, allow them to get home safely to their several destinations. Oh God, keep back accidents in the name of Jesus. Oh God, keep back robbers and thieves in the name of Jesus. Those that have to walk these dangerous uh, dark roads and those that may have to travel the trailways. Oh God, how they in trouble. Father, allow your angels to be dispatched all around them. Oh God, that they might protect them and keep them out of your power. And then when we get to our several destinations, Father, we pray that we find everything like we left it. Oh God, perfect peace be in our homes. Oh God, no fires broken out, no things broken in, but perfect peace be in our place of habitation. Father, we pray that you would keep us until the next appointed time, that we might be able to walk through these doors and gather together again in your name, to be able to worship you with our brothers and sisters. Do these things for us, and we'll continue to give your name all glory, all honor, and all praise. Now, Lord, now, Lord, now, Lord, help me, and I shall be here, save me, and I shall be saved, for you.